Hello guys, welcome back to level floor, floor 40, 54 guys. Look how we do it guys. Look, this, this team was really, really terrible to do it with, but just, just I just want to show you the tactic here, okay? And the reason I say it, when you do these bosses in the Arkham Realm, guys, do it when this random debuff is, is when you can use three different skills and remove the debuff, okay? And look here, guys, we don't activate the ads that is behind there, the tree, okay? The one that falling down. You see this flamingo that is hanging up there. You see, we go to the right corner side to avoid activating him. We save this ad because we know our team DPS is not gonna kill the boss in time because the time of the boss is really short guys i think it's four minutes or something it, uh, i was maybe a little bit uh, bad of me to say the dps is bad the dps is not bad flamingos the timing is bad here so i apologize for that guys so i'm using this one and let's go on and see and they look this uh, flamingos is in the moon so we are going to fail on this one so just let me show you okay when they fail here and look the way i'm doing here guys this is important for a healer okay so just hold the eye on how i'm gonna show you the steps here and then you will learn how to do it look he will do this let me show you this this one in this part there's a worker b you see this one he will do a big aoe here this one you see here, I use heal sound to increase the ASP so they don't die, and then I heal them. I save my Aurora, the sing song of life, for when this timing, look, when he do this one. Because here, guys, he gonna kill you otherwise. It's so easy. He do, look, so much he removed from your HP. This song of life help you really good here, guys. So now let me show you the tactic we do it, okay? When we die here, look how we do it. We're gonna die here, okay? I'm gonna just pose it here. So look here, guys, now to see the time is out, the boss is berserk mode now. And the DPS is not good enough. Look, he's gonna one shot just now. Look, and this flamingo died. I don't know what happened to him, but he got this root and bang, he was sleepy. Look here, no, it's berserk mode. So he's gonna kill one of all. You see the DPS is out. So now let me show you look here now guys now we are going to run back and activate the mob that is over there to refuel our incredible store um, energy back okay this is a way to do it this is a trick when you know there is a so low chance to do this boss and the boss is okay but maybe 10 percent hp left and you have to do it then it's really good to come here and pump and this flamingo look he don't use three different skills and this i was so confused here what happened to this flamingo and he would forget to use three different skills to remove the debuff you see how much damage it does if you just use one ultimate or two different skills the debuff will remove and you see here we keep attacking the mob for filling up uh, our incredible store energy and from here we're gonna run fast to the boss and then this mob will reset and go back to his flamingo house and rest there and this way we have full incredible stone energy and look now we are going to run now and go to the boss and kill him so this was a way to do it guys when you know your dps is low just keep a mob alive so you can go and uh, get your incredible stone energy up don't use much skills just use basic skills to fill it up otherwise you will kill the mob and will you have problem look you see now we just run to the boss and kill him so this is a good tactic to know guys okay so this way you will boost your dps maybe 10% something. We see the boss start with 3 um, minutes and 40 seconds. It's really low time. 
So now let me show you how we do it on the next one because I had to spend two havre guys, two havre for these people to keep healing them. And I was so, so tired of this bus. I said, oh, I just want to give up. But I, these people invited me from the guilds. So I said, oh, okay, let's just go and try to help, help them. I think they was from the guild, but they, they invited me, not sure. So that is for this one, okay? So now let me show you the next one. And luck here, guys, we have the same problem here also. Same problem, look, look. The PS is low and look how we activate this one, okay? You're gonna kill us now. You see, I save my Song of Life here and I'm just using this heal sound, this face, this skills number three to increase their HP so they don't die. And here I used my Song of Life, but it depends, okay? If your teammate is too low, you want to use Song of Life first, then use the healing on this part. And this mage class can ignore, they have a skills that can ignore one damage, the big damage that's coming in. And here I use heal of sound, you see, to don't take too much damage. But now let me show you. And look here, guys, the way we incre increase our incredible stone, look, the mob is over there. We're hitting them and get the mobs close to us and start attacking them to increase our incredible stone energy. Look, I hit them. The healer have the highest range here, so I can target them them from far, far, far away and keep hitting them this way to increase our incredible stone, guys. I spent so much time with this flamingo to just do it this way because they otherwise there was no chance I bought mixture for them, this purple one that cost almost 1k gold and all this kind of stuff, nothing help. This flamingos was, oh my God, I was so, so tired on this one. Do you see how we do it, guys? We're keeping them and keep our incredible stone full. So this is another good way to do on this one. And now guys, look how close we was with all of that uh, incredible stone and thick kind of stuff. We was really close. Look, almost not done it. The boss, when you get in this phase, guys, Lucy, purple debuff I have, you cannot heal, guys. The healing is so low in this phase. It stacks six times. So you see, my healing is not working almost. You see, nothing. <laughs> you see? Almost this was doing this big AOE hit damage, it will kill us guys. And on this one, I spent another 30 minutes on only this one. This flamingos died so many times because he cannot dodge these AOEs and the damage was low. Oh my god, another 30 minutes on this one, and we had to bring another DPS in. You see, we changed the DPS in to get more DPS. And here using this song of life in time to carry everybody and I should use speed, but I forgot it. It was so much going on here, guys. But I you see it finally flamingos is free to go. There we see guys. And again, guys, if you don't have too much time, don't do this event. I'm just showing you guys to help you a little bit if you're doing it, guys. And at least do it when this random debuff is on. You can only use three different dispels. It's much easier, okay? Especially for the healers, because people think healing this require uh, a healer and that's it. I don't know. Flamingo, you need to dodge. You need to use this, that. No, no, no. This flamingo stay there and sleep and play with one hand. That's it. And rest, the healer keep doing that. No flamingo, you have to dodge, you have to walk around. Look, they are standing. Look at me. I am moving 24 7. No staying on the same place. And now we kill this boss. And this boss was also almost uh, <laughs> not completed, guys. It was so close the boss to kill us because of the DPS. So that's it all for level 40 54. And after this one, now I'm gonna try one more with my friends that wants me to help them to do the 60 because the, the healer I had, they could not heal good enough. 
so I'm gonna try and see if I can do anything better. Maybe I'm worse than the healer. So thank you guys, much of love, see you all, bye!